afternoon everybody, welcome to another uh, Cumbrian Kitchen Show. As you can tell, we're outside the uh, Inn at Ravenglass, a fantastic little seafood, uh, seafood pub, restaurant, call it what you like. We're on the shores of the Ravenglass estuary, and in a moment these guys will pan around and you can have a look. I'm joined by a very good mate of mine, Mr. Steve, Mr. Steve Hallett of uh, Ravenglass Fish, who supplies all my fish and supplies the inn here at the fish. And as you can tell, we're not cooking on any um, conventional barbecue, as you would call barbecue. We're actually cooking on these beauties, which are actually made out of um, the drums, out of old washing machines. And these are made by a gentleman who's sitting over there, great guy. <clears throat> and these are for sale as well by anybody, if anybody wants to buy any of these. Mr. Ed Whitfield. Uh, I don't know, Ed, is this a hobby of yours or is this yeah. a business? It's just a hobby. Uh, and it's, uh, it's just... A hobby that he's got, and he turns these beauties into uh, into barbecues, uh, beer, uh, wine coolers, call them what you like. And I've even seen something with a little glass dish in that he floats candles on. I'm not sure whether he does that or whether his missus does it, but uh, your wife does it. Doesn't she? They're all for sale, so um, go and get your hands on one. And I'm going to take this one home with me later on. But you need to speak to the missus because she's going to pay. So the whole idea of this is a is to push Ed's um, barbecues, call them what you like. It's to push this little place, the inn at Ravenglass. It's in stone's throw from Ravenglass Estuary. It's fantastic. And of course, it's uh, to help promote, like he needs any promoted, uh, it's to help promote Mr. Steve Hallett and his fish. So we've got a selection of fish for you. So we're going to start off, we're going to do you some um, mussels, okay? In with the onion. <clears throat> in with a small amount of um, butter. Going to fry those off. Right, as you can see, I'm not going to bother with peeling the garlic, we're just, we're just going to chop them, throw them in. We're just going to sweat these down. And once they're sweat down, we're going to put the mussels in. As you can see, some fantastic, uh, fantastic mussels that Steve's got for me. And myself and um, Mr. Cleary, my sous chef, stood and um, Scrape these and clean these earlier on, so we know these. Are, we know these are perfect. We're just going to pour those in. Okay, I think that'll do. And then in with the wine. So these are only going to take five minutes. Just give them a stir. Is what's that? Okay, so we're going to put the lid on and just let them steam away. Five minutes will be perfect. Beautiful mackerel. Okay. Uh, and again, supplied by my good mate uh, from just up the road. Uh, am I right in thinking these were landed at Whitehaven? They were. They were. So just up the road, 15 miles ish. ish. 20 miles. 17. There's always, there's always, what, there's always one that knows it exactly, isn't there? Uh, but beautiful, beautiful fish. Really, uh, really underrated. Today, what we're going to do, is what we've done is we've took the heads off, gutted them, took the tails off made small incisions and then we've actually made, um, well I say we, my sous chef Peter, Mr Peter Cleary, good mate, um, made a red Thai style curry paste. So that's with lemongrass, ginger, lots of red chilli in there, some olive oil, uh, blitz it all up into a paste, some salt and pepper, lemongrass, did I mention lemongrass, some coriander, 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 thanks chef. Coriander, and then what we've done is we've just rubbed all that in, wrapped them in tin foil, and then all we're just going to do is just going to pop these round the outside. I don't want to, I don't want to cremate them. I just want them to cook nice and nice and gently. Here we go. So there's lovely veg, the roasted veg that, uh, or there will be the roasted veg that Mr. Hallett has done for us. So we're just going to coat those in a little bit of oil, and then Steve, if you don't mind, if you just keep stirring those round, you'd be a, be a good man. Thank you. Tell me, I like a good stir. Good. And the other thing that we're going to do is we're just going to grill some, um, or barbecue, or washing machine grill, call it what you like, we're, we're going to do some langoustines. And again, uh, these were landed uh, in Whitehaven, um, the boats go out of Whitehaven, Steve will be able to tell you a little bit more than me because he actually speaks to the, the fishermen, deals with them daily. And the way that Steve works is, and it's a great relationship that we've got, is because um, the fishermen will bring Steve from the boats, uh, and tell us what we've got, what's coming in. And then Steve rings me and says, this is what we've got. Uh, do you want any? Uh, and generally as a rule, we'll go, yeah, just bring it in. Mussels are ready. Mm. Took 
slightly longer than five minutes. Oh, you lot are hungry. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. How's that? Just gonna nick, nick a little bit of Steve. Steve's gonna come back now because he was using this for his couscous. But I'm just gonna, just uh, in true Floydy style, we're just gonna throw. Uh, so what's the verdict? Beautiful. What on? Yeah. There's people with plates! <laughs> There's people with plates! <laughs> Not just any people, the plate people! Okay. Very good, very good. So will you be watching the Cumbrian Kitchen show on TV now? If I'm on, I will be on. <laughs> We've got on the mackerel that you're roasting away in the uh, tin foil with the um, Thai red spice. Okay, Steve earlier on, as you know, Made some couscous. All we've done is we've just put a knob of butter in there. We're going to put some of the rape seed, rape seed oil in. Just a touch of rape seed oil. And then we're just going to season it up. Good old Steve, Mr. Stevie Hallett, has just chopped me some herbs. There's chervil in there, there's mint in there, there's chives. So we're just going to, we're just going to put the herbs in, like so. Just going to stir that up, just to loosen it. To go with the roasted vegetables. And the couscous, we've got some sea bass fillets. Again, this is all landed in Whitehaven. Okay, so we've just seasoned that up. I'm just going to give it a little bit of oil. We're just going to put these on, like so. And once it's cooked, we're just going to sit it on top of the roasted veg. Okay, a bit more oil. In the meantime, we're going to check the mackerel. The beauty of wrapping things in the foil, are you going to throw it on the barbecue? It's the fact that really, it's it's quite forgiving. It means that you can wrap them in foil. It's not going to char. It's not going to overcook. And all the lovely flavours and all the it's all going to steam in there. So. Okay, so we've got the fantastic mackerel that we uh, headed, tailed, gutted, uh, made some incisions, rubbed some Thai spiced red paste into there, wrapped them in foil, barbecued them for about 10, 13 minutes. Okay, so right, dig in. Mackerel's up. <clears throat> Right, yeah. is <laughs> Just to finish this one off, you've got the roasted vegetables, the aubergine, the courgettes, the tomatoes, some red onion. Toss in a little bit of oil, uh, oil. Um, and then the sea bass that we've on the grill. Just going to squeeze some lemon over it. Okay. There we go. And I'll sit this one. I'll sit this one over here. It's really nice. Yeah. yeah. And what have you had? Sea bass. Sea bass. Sea bass. Mackerel. Mm -hmm. And I'm in the queue for the Frankfurtines now. Okay, the last one that we're going to do is these fantastic langoustines, and again, I don't want to keep banging on about it, but these are again landed in Whitehaven. Uh, there's more fish than you think actually landed in Whitehaven. Um, so if you do get the chance, speak to Steve or Ed here. These on. We're not messing around with these. We're not going to do anything to them. You don't need to. Got a fantastic flavour, lovely and sweet. Um, in my um, Good lady's opinion, she prefers these to lobster. So. Right guys, so uh, if you want to come in and grab yourself some, this is twice smoked salmon to uh, Steve's um, very own recipe. We've got some buns there, just pull the bun, yeah, just pull the bun in, um, just pull the bun in half, there's some rocket there, some creme fraiche, just fill your bun and eat away. Okay guys, off you go. Scallops, okay scallops, and all I've done, we've taken the coral off or the rope, not going to not going to season them at all, and we've just studded them with rosemary. And we're just going to put these on. We're just going to give them a minute or so each side. That's it. There we go. Cheers. Thanks very much. It's one that we prepared earlier. <laughs> you want you, That's what you're waiting for, really, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Okay. You ready? What I'll do? I'll whack all these onto a tray, and you can all um. Dig in. Um. Do you mind? Yeah. Don't mind. Are you sure? Yeah. It's health and safety though, you kind of, you're, you're on your own. I've got my own food shop. I do this every day. Yeah. Yeah. Thank lo, lo and behold, my sidekick's gone in the bar for a beer. <laughs> so, Welcome. Well, 
barbecued the scallops with the uh, with the rosemary through it, and we're just going to put some anchovy butter on and let that sit there. Okay, how's that? There you go. Don't get drunk on compliments. <laughs> Right, so thank you very much for joining us at uh, Ravenglass on the estuary. Thank you to the inn at Ravenglass. Thank you to Mr. Steve Hallett for the supply of the fish. Uh, and if anybody ever wants any, get in touch with him. Thank you to uh, Mr. Ed Whitfield for these brilliant, brilliant uh, barbecues. And I will be purchasing one. And there's some cards around. So if you want, oh, I'm sure we can put this up on the uh, up onto YouTube and you can get his address and all the rest of it if you want to contact him to get one of these things. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Thank you, audience. You've been absolutely fantastic. Thanks for the beers. <laughs> Sorry, I meant thank you for the beer. Um, <laughs> but, uh, join us next time on the uh, Cumbrian Kitchen Show where we're at Distant Horizons at Allswater. Thank you very much. Hey, that's a wrap.